Okay, hello Cloud Gurus. Well, we're here today with Mark Nunnikoven, who is one of the uh, exclusive AWS community heroes uh, and is also, I would, I would say, a security guru. Yeah. Is that a good way to describe you? Yeah, I try. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a focal point for me. <laughs> yeah, so we're just going to catch up with Mark on all things security and the mm -hmm. latest announcements at reInvent. So yeah, what, give us some of your top highlights from reInvent so far. Yeah, um, I absolutely loved the fact that at um, Tuesday Night Live with Peter DeSantis, at Andy Jassy's keynote, at Werner's keynote, security was at the forefront. Um, so not necessarily specific announcements, but the fact that they talked about how critical it was, how it's everybody's responsibility, and how it needs to be integrated into everything we build. They've had um, glimpses of that message before, but we've never seen it with such um, strength delivered um, constantly at each of the keynotes. And that, as a security professional, is really exciting. Yeah, and I guess security is important through all elements of the cloud, right? It's not just a service, it's, it's gotta be baked into everything. Yeah. Um, what, do you, what were some of the, I guess some of the key interesting announcements from a security perspective. Things like guard duty. Uh... Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Um, so on uh, Tuesday, AWS announced a new service called Amazon Guard Duty. Um, this is a very simple to use service. It's one click deploy, and it looks at your uh, VPC flow logs as well as your CloudTrail data, and it's looking for localized threat intelligence. And that's a really a fancy way of saying it's looking for something that's suspicious, something that's a little bit off. And when it finds something, it raises what it's called a finding, and it sends it through to CloudWatch events, and then you can do whatever you want with that. So you can write a Lambda function that does an automated response, yeah. Um, maybe updates your team in a Slack channel, something like that. Um, but it's another piece of the puzzle that um, Steven Schmidt was uh, hitting on, that Werner was hitting on, that the future of security is really automation. Yeah. It's another great uh, way to kick those automations off. Yeah, so you can actually correct things uh, automatically with Lambda functions. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. And how does, this, uh, how does guard duty overlap or differ from Macy, for example? Yeah, and that's a really good question um, because they both look at CloudTrail data, um, but Amazon Guard Duty is targeted more towards um, violations like uh, unauthorized access, um, like um, uh, odd API calls, as well as um, uh, suspicious activity on EC2 instances. Amazon Macy, which launched at the New York Summit this year in August, is focused on S3 as well as your CloudTrail data. So it'll do some pretty sophisticated analytics on CloudTrail activity, um, but very deep dive on your S3 buckets. So it's going to um, look for that um, tragic problem of public S3 buckets. Remember people, please, they are secure <laughs> by default. Um, you're probably all sick of me on Twitter saying that by now, but they're locked down by default unless you turn that off. Um, you're fine, and a number Don't of people. <laughs> yeah, and a number of people. We've seen major headlines of companies who have turned that off, and that kind of comes down to this automation theme again. Um, but Macy helps with that; it raises alerts. Mm -hmm. It also does deep analysis of those buckets. So if you've done something like drop an SSH key into a bucket, Macy will raise that alert because it's looking into the objects, not just at the um, metadata of the objects themselves. And I'd say Macy is also really great from a compliance perspective for things mm -hmm. like GDPR, right? And that yeah. you can actually. Uh, classify and discover your data as well. Absolutely. Yeah. So if you drop um, PII, so personally identifiable information, into a bucket, Macy's going to raise that up as well. Um, and it kicks off events that you can write a Lambda for and say, yeah. hey, so and so dropped a, um, a customer information in here. It's EU citizen data. Yeah. We need to make sure that we address this. It's a violation or um, you know, take further action there. And um, that was really a big takeaway for me was the automation is coming to the forefront. Yeah. Um, I've been a long advocate of that. But to hear Steven Schmidt say that they're doing security operations with no dedicated security engineers because they've automated everything um, and are often uh, resolving incidents um, purely with uh, the systems as opposed to people, um, that's a huge win from security. I mean, I, I'm people, your people, we like people, um, but computers are doing this way better. Systems do this type of response way better than people will do. I like computers too. <laughs> I do, not as much as I like people, yeah, but true, still, true. Um, you know, the, the key is uh, cyber criminals are using automated means to attack us. If yeah. we're defending by hand, it's you're never going to win. It's not going to work. And, and you mentioned Lambda in there. I saw Lambda uh, finally got VPC support. Yes, cool. um, there's a list of services, which is essentially every service in AWS that should have VPC support. Mm -hmm. um, Lambda was a big one though, because it is so useful in so many scenarios. Yeah. Um, having that uh, private access as opposed to rerouting back uh, out through the internet, um, absolutely critical. Yeah, absolutely. And does that mean uh, that Lambda, the access that 
the Lambda function has itself to resources is limited only within the VPC? Or? Uh, no, um, so you do need to be aware of that, and that's one of the challenges, is that with a Lambda that's running in your VPC, it can still call out if you have the permission set up for that. Right. Um, yeah. That's not necessarily a bad thing, um, but it's just to be aware. Uh, so if you want a fully internal serverless um, solution for something, you need to make sure that that private Lambda is calling other private functions. Yeah, lock it down. Yeah. Lock it down, exactly. Absolutely. Great. Uh, anything else you think worth highlighting from the announcements of reInvent from a security perspective? I think security was integrated into a lot of them, which was uh, a great thing to hear. Um, you know, uh, mm -hmm. the wonderful workflows around machine learning take mm -hmm. advantage of all the foundational pieces AWS has put in place, and I think that's mm -hmm. really a key for me. Um, you know, someone had mentioned uh, they're ch having a challenge understanding why Cloud Nine um, is such an interesting developer tool because you know their local ID is better, and there's an argument there. Mm -hmm. As a security uh, professional, I look at something like Cloud Nine and say this is phenomenal because mm -hmm. now all my development is being done in a known environment, yes. um, in an environment that has IAM permissions, that has CloudTrail logging, yep. that has a bunch of tools that I can put in place. I can use Lambdas to react to different things. Yep. Um, so it's a wonderful security boost and not specifically called out, but it's a, a really huge good takeaway. Point. And you know, you're not having developers running everything on their local laptops and bringing down data, you know. That, I mean, as, exactly. It's always you, the sound you want to talk about GDPR violations. People Somebody who taking data copy production borders. data down to their laptop to develop yeah. on it, yeah. yeah. And at the end of the day, most security violations are not malicious. They're not people who are like, oh, I'm going to take this data and walk yeah. away. It does happen. You need to prepare for it. Most of the time, it's a mistake, and that kind of comes back full circle um, to that message around automation. You need to automate these uh, checks. Um, just like development, you need know, automated testing. Security needs that as well. It's possible in the AWS cloud. Yeah, absolutely. And I guess finally, before we go, what are your predictions for 2018? Where do you think uh, Amazon will be going with all this stuff? Uh, I think it's, you know, the direction is, is clear. They want to deliver services that are easier um, for people to use. They're taking complex technology and making it simpler. Um, they are taking security and making it simpler. And that's a, a huge, huge win. I expect yeah. to see more of that in 2018. So that's really about uh, having people who are not domain security experts in the organization all being able to write secure um, products and think security first. Absolutely. Yeah. And I think that's something we've done to ourselves in the security community is setting it up as this whole separate discipline. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, there's key areas that you need a deep expertise for, but security is everybody's responsibility. Yeah. The tools you get in the AWS cloud, make sure that you can write and create things in a secure manner. Okay, well thank you for joining us today and doing this wrap up from reInvent. Really great, Mark. No problem, thanks, thanks for, for having, having me. All right. Keep being awesome, cloud gurus.